Uh, he can just get run over because everyone seems to be immortal around here. Um, yeah, woof woof, dog. Immortal? Yeah. Uh, so I'll see you back at the yard and, uh, or back at, in the forest or going to the forest. And, yeah. Knock out. Hello everybody and welcome back to Iron Leon Alps. It's been a while but um, we're back. I can't get that window to close so just ignore it please. Now today <coughs> we are going to be doing a little bit of forestry. Now uh, 1.4 messed up my game and uh, quite a lot of mods were missing. Uh, Ultrastream Farm Roleplay for example will not be returning for at least some time. <coughs> that is because, um, uh, well, the game ha doesn't know the old stream farm is actually installed when uh, it says in the mods file Whoa, weird. Uh, that it is installed. Uh, I'm going to keep my hand on the mouse uh, so that doesn't happen again. Uh, so basically my game's messed up, I'm trying to install as much as possible back in the game and it's doing its thing again. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because I'm leaving the city outside home. No, because it's on the blue light which is to control the tools. Now today, uh, thank nicely, very decently, uh, in the last video, I think I mentioned we were going to do forestry, and I'm going to run over that woman. And I already have. But at least she's a mortal. Um, yes. Uh, that's where we're going to take them. Uh, there's a log splitter, which sounds interesting, has come out uh, on Mod Hub. And my dead zone. I'm too used to playing ETF2 multiplayer. Uh, and that's the reason why I am not used to this. And I don't know why but I think my game is slightly laggier than it was. Uh, Peterville will still be back though so uh, that might take the Wednesday slot for roleplay. Peterville. Right, gotta remember to turn all the way around, not only slightly. Uh, so if I do accidentally crash it's probably because I'm too used to ETS2 multiplayer. Uh, anyway, Let's just buy the um, equipment, uh, forestry equipment. Now there is something else I wanted to buy as well. well this is the log splitter in question. A uh, very nice looking machine. Um, I didn't think this would be out of mod hub, uh, but it's so good. It looks so good. Um, I've seen a few YouTube videos just to get know how to use it, so I don't spend hours trying to figure it out whilst trying to record at the same time. Now I think the other thing is a miscellaneous. I'm not 100% sure. Could use that, this thing here, but there's something, another specific thing I want to use. Right. Agromax, nope. I'm going to have to go through all of these things here. <laughs> Fella. That should be more of a uh, what's it called? Uh, we've bought the log splitter. I think we might just put it in the trailer or we might just buy that thing. Right, I'm going to cut it here and uh, we'll see what happens. Found it. This thing. It's called the Lizard Loader. And uh, it was in tippers actually. Uh, I think I'm going to just go jet black for this one. Uh, so we'll buy that as well. We're going to buy both machines and. Let's see if I can work out how to close these windows. Uh, if oh, something happened. There we go. I'm making it good now. Right, that will do. Anyway, uh, I'm probably going to put the uh, box thing on the front and the other thingy, my bobby, um, block splitter, sorry, on the back. 
Yep, that goes there. So we're going to load up the logs from the log splitter into the thingy. Uh, we'll just call it the thingy. If I do say thingy, I mean the box thing on the front, the loader. Uh, back window can stay open, actually. Uh, let's set that. Don't hit the wall thing. Yes. So we're going to go and head over to one of the forests. Now the forest in question is going to be probably, as you leave the yard to go down to field A, there's a forest sort of, um, there's a track into some woodland. Uh, I quite like to go in there because I don't think I actually went in there in the first look video. So really, that's the obvious place. Uh, I never bothered doing this. Uh, moving the camera, so let's see where I'm going. But, uh, I'm too used to ETS2 multiplayer again. I need to use the SATEX side panel to indicate, not the flappy paddle things to indicate. And my dead zone. And I'm going to sort out the dead zone on ETS2 MP. But anyway, uh, he can just get run over because everyone seems to be immortal around here. Um, yeah, woof woof, dog. Immortal? Yeah. Uh, so I'll see you back at the yard and, uh, or back at, in the forest or going to the forest. And, yeah. Knock out. Okay, so we're just going along here and around the corner we'll be going into the yard. I can feel that bit, but this bit here is more bumpier. I'm not sure if it was in the last video, uh, but I cut out the bit where it's quite bumpy, but now it's gone all smooth. So, jingly jingly jingly. Um, yeah, the forest in question is if we go down here, uh, you see that track there on the corner? We're going to go up there and uh, try and, well, chop down some trees. And I don't think I own a chainsaw. So I'm going to go outside for you. <sighs> Got to get used to these controls again. But this looks like a pretty decent area to do a bit of um, log strain, whatever you call it. Uh, now, I think back there was the best area to actually do the whole thing because I need to lower this thing on flat ground and, um, well, the uh, log splitter on some flat ground and uh, it's suddenly gone very laggy. Uh, so I think just here will do. So let's have a look at this menu. Uh, so X to unfold it. V to lower it, as per usual. Oh, nice little noise. So I guess we, I, um, I do know we have to get out. I'm actually had some bit of realism. No, it's that door. Want to open? Uh, adds a little bit of realism. Uh, Right, uh, the recording stopped working for a second there, uh, but in that time I've managed to buy a chainsaw. So, the little murder thing is, okay, uh, I haven't actually seen if I can cut these sorts of logs. Uh, oh, okay. I don't own land. Let's just have a look what the problem is. Uh, ooh. <coughs> well, we just have to borrow more money. I don't really care about borrowing too much. I think we'll go up to 200,000. It doesn't take out too much. So let's purchase this plot of land and uh, well we're left with about the same amount as before. So Shop. Yes. As I was meant to do. And uh, yeah, uh, let's bring this out into the open. More. 
and <coughs> uh, I want to. Okay, let's just pick this up. See if it fits on the thingy. Uh, it will go in here. And then if I get the help menu up, uh, N. Oh, you've got to hold it down. Right, that should have done something. I've sort of shaved one side of it off. I think it needs to be a th thicker log, but we'll still sell that. Uh, stick that. Go in there. Keep it. Uh, I'll just. So we'll probably want to go for a thicker tree. Uh, should be all right. Pick this thing up. Let's throw it in the front. Uh, pick that thing up. Throw it in the front. And finally, this little tiny bit. And throw it into the front. I could have actually gone up there. It would probably have been alright. Uh, one of those two would be, per would be perfect. Um, let's just get the chainsaw out. I'm going to chop it that way, I think. I should have actually bought the winch as well. Or a winch. Please don't roll down the hill. Please don't roll down the hill. Good tree. Yes, good tree. Right, let's just chop this bit off and that bit off. And we'll see what happens. So. Why can't I pick that up? Ah, I can still pick it up. I thought it was too heavy then. But. Anyway. Come on. Let me put you on. Let me put you on the goddamn thing. Uh, so, stand here, of course. <coughs> and hold down N. Flip lock. Yes! Love that. In the front, and uh, pretty decent um, split action inside between the log. Uh, yeah, so I think we should get another bit. Uh, probably <coughs> a bit bigger this time. Uh, this one seems to be bigger than last time. Uh, that on the thingy, hold N, I do like the sound that it makes, I don't want to get in the tractor, uh, I'm actually going to leave that there because um, I quite like um, leaving it <coughs> and um, then having it pushed off by the next log, so yeah. now you probably would have these pre-cut, the um, these little logs I'm putting on and uh, also I think this mod would be quite nice to, to play around with uh, with somebody else like a friend of yours so um, you and a friend one of you could go and get the logs and put them on the thing and then the other one could be the one to um, use the um, uh, log splitter machine yeah, that goes there. Split. Oh, it didn't make the sound then. <coughs> Hopefully it will make the sound on the next one. Well, I think that first log I did was a bit thin for it, so I think these more thicker logs you could put on. Now, I'd say I think the limit to the space along this thing, I'd say it would be probably the one meter logs. We get to the corner. Use the levers. Yes, we got the noise then. So, so I'm gonna try and get rid of some of these branches. Oh, branches. Uh, 
get something slightly bigger. We can always chop it by the machine, but uh, this is quite good. Um, go away. Uh, I think that might be slightly too long. If we chop it in half, <coughs> move that bit off the front. Just remember not to grab it. Just that sliced there. Uh, not the best, but uh, still sliced. Um, that thing. Slicey, slicey. Let's dice some of these logs. Ah, tree's running away. I'm gonna make a couple of. Um, chop a few of these up. So you can literally just go like this and then throw them over there. Hopefully they don't roll away. Uh, that go can go over there. It's just a log. And this one can go over there. I do like to use a little technique I found out, which is to push logs up like several logs, even if they're too heavy, up um, into a pile or something. So, I want to see how this one comes out. So, that came out quite well. Uh, this is probably, well, in real life you'd probably make this for your own firewood, or have this machine. I love this machine in real life, personally. Um, uh, if if I owned sort of like a forest with those kinds of trees, I would use it more. Uh, I do own some land with uh, some trees on, but I think they're more oak trees or something. I'm not really sure. I'm not a tree kind of person. But I think we should load some of these up on. Uh, that's quite a nice colour actually down there. So I like quite like the colour change when it's in the shadow. But I always have a habit of overfilling things, uh, which I quite like doing uh, for some reason. Uh, I think this one bit was a little bit more rotten than the others. So, drops the log. Uh, stick that in the front there. <clears throat> it's quite nice having the thing on the front. I think this would be great for um, if there was like. Uh, road work and you could have like this tractor or a different tracks with its beacons on and then have the as I was explaining before the recording stopped working again uh, you probably have this thing on the front no actually probably be better on the back you could have like two tracks either two tractors or have this set up and then you can put logs as you're going along and then pick them up and put them in the front. Or you can have one tractor with the thing on the back, this, on the back, the logs which are on the back, and then have another tractor or in which is following and going along picking up the logs. But because it's just me here, uh, we just have to live with it. Uh, come on. Uh, let's just talk about something else as well. Uh, channel news. Yes, I do have some channel news. Uh, I'm going to be doing a playthrough, or let's play, as others, some people, other people like to call it, of a game called Jalopy. Or, I think it's called, yeah, it's called Jalopy. Jalopy, or something. Uh, which is sort of like mice in a car but you've got a more traveling element in it and uh, I put a vote on my discord server and a lot of and um, quite a lot of people want me to do it um, quite a few uh, to me for me uh, want me to actually do this um, thing of, with jalopy this playthrough so I will be once I've got the game 
Uh, I'm hopefully going to get it before July 9th, which is when the um, sale off ends on Steam. Um, and hopefully, I actually use some of that um, to get uh, a couple of new DLCs for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, I got the Crone DLC, the What's It What Trailer DLC, I can't even remember how to pronounce the name or I can't even pronounce the name in the first place. Um, the Viva La France, I think it's called, uh, which is that French DLC where you get to go down south of France and uh, that's that sort of region, southeast France. Uh, you get a lot more France and uh, Scandinavia. Uh, yeah, so really, that's the main stuff. And the channel's on 25 subscribers. I'm guessing, um, well, IOT is. Where is he at? I can't remember. I think it's in the 90s. Um, I'm. I actually worked out. Uh, when he's had a hundred subscribers, I'm probably going to be about at about 30. Um, I thought I was going to fall off. Um, so really, that's the situation. And then hopefully it will be like me, well him, for me. So once I'm at 30, uh, I will be get to a hundred in no time and uh, I actually went through a phase where I actually got um, one subscriber per day for about probably about four days uh, which was pretty good actually very good and uh, really yeah. uh, next proper special thing is probably going to be a 50 sub special uh, yeah. so that's, it's probably best for me to do a 50 sub special uh, when I get 50 subscribers, obviously. So let's. That thing's gonna fall off. In it. Uh, we've got this track for the rest of the in game day. Uh, if you don't know, hopefully. Because I had to lease it. Is that gonna fall off? No, it isn't. Any more straps can put on? No. So, if I turn this off <coughs> and just dump it down here by where this chopped down tree is, uh, we can do some more in the future. Uh, maybe with the Ursus. <coughs> so, uh, after the Ursus, that's probably going to be. Well, this is probably going to take four episodes. Uh, Right, let me work something out quickly. Um, this thing. Uh, I can't remember what episode we're on. This is episode 4. Um, so, so, it'll be episode 11 once we've done with the track leasing. I have two more tracks that I would like to use. Uh, I may do them and then end the series because. <coughs> I'm thinking once that's done, I've got two more tractors, four more episodes probably with the tractors. Uh, that will bring me up to 19, and then episode 20 might be the final episode, sadly. Uh, now, next episode, I want a. Uh, I completely forgot I owned Field 4. And I'm driving along like an idiot. Um, and that's got sunflowers in, so we might want to harvest that. Um, so this tractor has been used quite a lot today, actually. It's been the only... Don't know what the hell happened then. Um, uh, I think, well, for some reason it went back to my desktop screen. Uh, the game stayed open. <coughs> so... Yeah, that's the main thing. So I didn't have to reload the game and probably go from where I was. And I was really hoping it was before after I'd loaded up all these logs. So yeah, really. Um, 
once we've tested other two tractors, I think this let's play will be over because it will probably be. Uh, I'm actually gonna t um, do the whole leasing thing. Uh, and this is episode 2 with this tractor. We've got two more episodes to go with this tractor. Um, that looks very good. Crashed into the immortal person. And uh, then we're going to be testing the Ursus. And then. Uh, um, a tractor. I can't even say it. Uh, I believe it was in the. Vintage pack thing. I'm going to go in there in a minute. Um, and then another Ursus tractor probably, and then that will probably bring us up to episode, that will bring us up to episode 19, and then episode 22 will be the final episode, sadly. I know, but hey ho, we gotta test other maps. Right, where's the log silver? I probably come to the completely wrong place. Have we? Uh, so. It doesn't. Oh, I think. Don't think it says where you can sell trees. Uh, hang. On. Let's just have a quick look on the map. Where is Forest Brew? Right. Let's try that place. Uh, driving along with the door open. Very, very, very dangerous, probably. I can't remember the controls now. Right. Yeah. So, close the door and then really head along the road. Now, Peterville will go on for longer than 20 episodes, I can tell you right now. It will probably go on for at least 30, uh, if not more. Um, I'm probably not going to go over 50. Um, but if people are really enjoying it, yeah. Hey ho. Now, the next map, probably most likely, will be both after this series and Peterville. So once I finish Peterville, we'll be doing the next map. And uh, it will probably be on an American map. Or we could do the two casual Let's Plays going alongside each other. Um, which I think was quite, was quite good. Uh, we Oh, please say. Yeah. The recording stopped working again. I uh, don't know why. Um. Shh. I'm trying to record a video here. Uh, I cannot really. I cannot find where to set up these logs. Um. Biogas plant would really do anything. Uh, hang on, I don't think we even made the money from the last video. Um, from the... What's it called? Silage bales. Um, could be here. Kind of logical. Um... Is that trigger here? Right, let's teleport to this tractor and uh, we'll try some stuff around the town and uh, I think that will wrap up this episode. So, really, I'm probably not going to be bothered to edit it all at once, so if this video has gone on for a long time, I do apologise. It's mainly me searching for cell points. But, yeah, that. So, I am a bit under the weather as well. Uh, crash, not crashing into immortal people. Uh, it was really warm uh, yesterday, which was Saturday. Uh, as we're saying, which was Saturday, and um, please sell. Uh, for some reason, I caught a cold. I don't know why. So, 
let's try buy this log pile because it seems more obvious that you can sell buy a log pile. Um, I cannot find where this whole log cell is. Nope, there's nothing in there. Please sell. Uh, does it sit this place? That's wood chips, I can tell you right now. The definite, that is definitely wood chips. This just seems like the really obvious place to sell wood chips. No, not wood chips, logs. Uh, what about here? More like straw. It's not really harvest anyway. Oh, it's still growing. Um, I cannot think of where to sell these. So I guess we'll have to end the video here. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe for more. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.